guys, it's me, Ursula Thompson. Of course, I'm riding along with Jim Thomas. <laughs> so, of course, you guys know we've been talking about love, February. So, we talked about feeling empty. We talked about between relationships. So, today we're going to talk about understanding attitudes. All of that coincide because what it does, it comes back and reflects flex back on you and who you are and what you want and who you want to be basically and what type of relationship you desire and a lot of times we think the type of relationship that we desire resides on someone else but it really it resides on us because if we start digging inside of us and working on us and having a desire to be a better us regardless of the other person a lot of times that brings the other person along and challenges them in a kind of way without you even saying anything so we want to talk about today about just understanding attitude understanding and we want to start with understanding your attitude You're like i know my attitude a lot of times we don't we don't understand our attitudes so we're gonna delve off into that uh first of all y'all know guys that we basically love to talk about relationship. We're going to get deeper and deeper into other things. We're going to start bringing you guys along uh, on some of our date nights and, and show you guys kind of some of our life, bring you guys along with us to the gym and show little snippets like that. And so uh, basically this channel is uh, it's all about relationship. It's all about uh, how to sustain a wonderful relationship, how to build a good relationship, how to walk as one, and not only with your spouse, not only with uh, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, but just in general, even with your family members. And you say, I can't walk as one with my family members. Let me tell you something. When you make a conscious decision, I dropped something, guys. Hold on. When you make a conscious decision that I'm not going to try to prove I'm I'm right. I'm not going to be in this power struggle. I'm not going, you know, when you say, hey, you know what? I'm going to let you be you. And that don't mean y'all got to hang together. That don't mean y'all got to conversate on the, on the telephone, you know, and all that good stuff. But when you make a conscious decision, hey, I'm just going to let you be you. In, in retrospect, you're walking as one because you're not conflicting. You're not going back and forth. You're just saying, hey, I'm going to just let you have it. I'm going to go to God. I'm going to let God deal with you. So, you want to kick it off? Yes, because, you know, we talked about... Oh, oh, righty. <laughs> and we, like I said, we talked about attitude. And attitude really um, coincides with behavior. Yeah. It's the way you see something and how you apply it um, in the respect of your behavior towards... Uh, so, as we talk in relationship. Yeah. Like if somebody say, you you know, your attitude is really stank toward her. Or I have an attitude with him. Or I have an attitude with her. What are you really saying? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, you know, another thing I see as as in a in a world scope is how uh we have a we have a different behavior pattern when it comes to our white how white account our white Hispanic our white counterparts our Hispanic counterparts even sometimes our Jewish counterparts and I oftentimes I see that when we travel and we're going places and stuff and um, how we greet people and how people greet us and all this stuff lies in your attitude and that attitude from your, your relationship within within your circle on how they treat people's. Uh, of color and, and of, of different uh, nationalities, all that stem into your behavior in an in in attitude type way. Mm -hmm. And so your your attitude is really one of the one of the points of how you really build a relationship, mm -hmm. or how you define a relationship, mm -hmm. or how you decide to say, you know what, when I was in this relationship and I and I, I allowed him to do this and I allowed him to do that, and because I thought that's what he wanted, whatever, but I never do that again and stuff like that. So then you have to redefine your own personal attitude. Mm -hmm what you want to accept and what you don't want to accept. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing I know that within your attitude, you have to walk in the mindset of, hey, I want to be free in my attitude. So therefore, um, I'm going to stand firm on certain things. Mm -hmm. Hey, I, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people say, well, you know, this is who I am. You're going to have to accept me. Do I really have to? Do I have to accept you or do I have to love you? And loving you don't mean I have, I have to be around you all the time. Or when I do get around you, I can still love you without having all kind of different uh, conflicts, uh, different kind of uh, mood swings and attitudes and conversations that, 
that, that veer far left or far right. And we have to work on our attitude, especially working in some of these relationships. That's so because true. some people uh, are what they say, high strong, high opinionated. Uh, they firm in one area. So, you know, you, you, you have to really, really, really think about that in relationship. How does this, how does my attitude work towards certain people? Yeah. I think when we talk about understanding our attitude, that's exactly what you have to do. You have to sit down and think about why do you feel this way or that way toward this person or that person? And understand your attitude, you got to get out of your own emotions and you got to be honest with yourself. The only way you can truly understand who you are is by really sitting down and really taking an in-depth look within you to see what caused this. So if you walk around and you have a negative attitude towards something or someone, your sister, your brother, or you already have a preconceived notion of that person, that's lodged in your attitude and your decision making. An attitude is basically nothing but a decision that you have made to have against his, him or her. So if you have to ask yourself sometimes, if you sit down and you find yourself always, when this person comes toward you, and you find yourself feeling some kind of way. But you say, I don't know why I feel that type of way. I guarantee if you go sit down and really ponder on it and have your pencil and a paper, you will discover the reason that I have this type of attitude, to, attitude toward this person because he remind me of this person that hurt me. She remind me of this woman that did me wrong. She remind me of somebody that stole from me. He remind me of somebody that cussed me out and hurt my feelings. He remind me of a person that offended me. She reminded me of a person that tried to, you know, if you read, and then that's when you can come to terms and come to grips with who you are. And you don't have to let that define you because what happens is a lot of times we have attitude towards people and we don't deal with it, so we allow it to just build up, build up. And then people were like, oh my God, she's such an angry person, or he's such an angry person. And the reason that be so is because you never truly sat down and dealt with you and what caused you to feel this way or that way within yourself. And sometimes, God, uh, you have an attitude, attitude toward God. We have an attitude toward, attitude toward our own self because somebody, well, growing up, somebody done told us, you so mean, you so hateful, you so this, you so that. So when you look in the mirror, that's how you see yourself. You see yourself as this mean, hateful person. So you you develop this attitude even with yourself. You look yeah. at yourself and you be, t I don't take no mess. Okay, that's not uh, uh, nothing to write or stand or get an Oscar about. You know, you live in a world where sometimes you're going to have to, you know, it was a song when I was coming up, and it was said, uh, somebody plays the fool sometime. Somebody got to win and somebody got to lose. And so you really have to take this time to grow. One thing my husband said, and I thought it was so powerful when we taught a class on Saturday, he said that so many believers in Christ, and I do say believers in Christ a lot of times before I say Christian, because people, people have their own determination of what they think Christianity is. But I, when I, I feel like when I say believe in Christ, I'm letting you know I believe in Jesus Christ. So uh, one of the things he said was, you know, you got so many people growing, but they're not maturing. And I think that's so awesome because you can look at it, you can look at that even in a child. You can take a child because time does its job very well. And the only job that time has assigned to it is move. That's the only job time has assigned to it is to move. It's to move. And time does its job. So if you look at a child, that child goes from infant to toddler, you know, to child, to uh, mid-teen, to teen, to young woman, young man, to adult. But just because they grew that don't mean they mature. Amen. So you have, you be like, oh my God, this man or this woman is like 30, 40 years old and still revert back like they 15 or 60. Mm -hmm. So somewhere in there that they took their attitude toward whatever the case may be and it has them stunned. They, they stagnated mm -hmm. 
in that childhood mindset, mm -hmm. in that childhood attitude. So that's why we have to really deal with our attitude and understand mm -hmm. our attitude. So we said understanding attitude is understanding why you are the way you are by taking an in-depth look on what got you there, what drove you there, what created that situation in you for to build that up in you for you to have those type of attitudes mm -hmm. towards yourself mm -hmm. towards your church towards your children towards mm -hmm. your husband towards your mm -hmm. wife mm -hmm. towards your sister your brother your friends your aunt whoever it may be yes. or whomever it may be mm -hmm. and you know your attitude your attitude truly shapes part of your character yeah you know um when you was talking and when she was talking about your sisters and brothers and all those start naming all those uh, different uh, people within relationships within close proximity of your family it took me all the way back to my older brother um, when this young man shot his leg off I was ready in the process to go off to college and play ball and uh, man that hurt me so bad and I put I put in my mind that my attitude well if I ever see this fella again and I said this I said I was gonna kill him and um, way after the fact, I think I seen him like three years later. Um, the guy didn't go to jail or anything like that. I came home one weekend and, I, and, and the guy came up to me and was talking to me. And when he first started talking, I recognized who he was. My attitude had shifted. The reason my attitude shifted because when I looked at him, he looked so bad. Because he was strung out on drugs. He was mm. so poor. He was so skinny. That nice looking, clean cut face, long, nice hair and everything. Uh, muscle bound body was gone. I mean, he looked it so bad. And right then and then, my attitude shifted for him and stuff. And I couldn't do nothing but feel uh, compassion for him. Mm. And in the process of me feel, feeling compassion for him, he started to exhort me. He said, man, I want to, he said, I thank God for you, man. I see you on TV, man. You making this little town look good and stuff. And he was going on and on and on. And before, um, you know, the, after the conversation ended, we embraced each other. We truly embraced each other. That took my attitude to a whole different level. So now when I see people on TV, when they talking about you have to forgive this man for killing your son, you have to forgive this, this person for raping your, 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 your daughter and all this other stuff, it takes my attitude back to that so I can have some compassion. So that, that, and then that's how that uh, agape love has to drop into you. Sometimes we have to ask God, God, come into my heart. Come into the yes, areas of my Lord. attitude. You have to name that word, attitude. Mm -hmm. Because... And, and, and yeah, God, God, come into my attitude. Mm -hmm. Work on my attitude, God. God, help, help me. me. Help mm -hmm. me to have a balanced attitude mm -hmm. so that my attitude would not only help me mature, but it would help me grow and it would advance me. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, I won't be so judgmental, especially when it comes back to folks that I know who have hurt me. Because we never take time out to say to ourselves, have we ever hurt them? Sometimes mm. we say stuff to people that I've said stuff to people wouldn't, and, and didn't mean anything about it. Mm -hmm. And they got offended. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. But now as I've grown into this spiritual walk, I understand this. Is that there are a lot of people walking around in the earth realm that's had, that, that walks in the spirit of offense. Mm -hmm. And if you let that spirit of offense sit in there, it affects your attitude. Mm -hmm. See, your attitude determines your, determine your amplitude. How you look at things, how you view things, and if your your attitude could be so uh, undesirable, you mm -hmm. you even dislike you. That's true. You even tell you that you can't do certain things. That's so true. You'll stop. You'll stop you. You'll stop other people from blessing you. Mm -hmm. I've known this to be true. When I wanted to bless certain folks, and they still be so irate, and uh, I'm sorry, please forgive me, and still won't accept that. So it's so important on working with your on your attitude. Again, your attitude deals so much with your behavior. And what does the Bible say uh, about behavior, about disobedience? Mm -hmm. Words are so important. So it is. It is. It is like again, I'll say when we start our we start relationships and rebuilding relationships and rebuilding ourselves and redefining ourselves from the inside out we there's certain questions we need to ask ourselves amen what what kind of attitude do i have do i like myself amen do i walk in the spirit of, of offense do i talk negative to people or do, do i talk negative about myself mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Am I very disrespectful? Do I honor authority? Mm -hmm. Do I honor people just because they're humanity? Not, not a color, humanity. Mm -hmm. And those are the type of things I've had to address within myself to actually help me to walk this thing out in this Christian walk. Amen. Amen. That's my take on attitude. Attitude determines amplitude. Amplitude means how high you go, how far you go, where you're going, to what point you're going to go up. Yep. Work on that attitude. Yep. All right, guys. So All right. I'm trying to talk and fix my head and listen all at once. <laughs> she's, so, she's so pretty. Okay, so with that being said. <laughs> she's so said, pretty. She's trying to come out. Look, she's so pretty. So with that being said, guys, we hope you enjoyed this episode Amen. Uh, in February, Understanding Attitudes. And don't forget, please, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button, and please leave us a comment. Please do that. Please, please leave please, us a comment. Please. Let's chit chat. Shit in the chat. Come on. <laughs> I got her. See, I got her. Then I get her. Woo. I got him. I'm like, what you say? Yeah. 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 Guess what you have to do? You have to walk with them. He said he going to prepare a table before oh. them. Mm. Okay, so two can walk as one. Love you guys.